A classical Kuiper belt object, also called a cubueno QB10, is a low eccentricity Kuiper belt object KBO that orbits beyond Neptune and is not controlled by an orbital resonance with Neptune. Cubuenos have orbits with semi-major axes in the 40 to 50 astronomical units range and unlike Pluto, do not cross Neptune's orbit. That is they have low eccentricity and sometimes low inclination orbits like the classical planets. The name Cubueno derives from the first trans-Neptunian object TNO found after Pluto and Charon, 15760 Albion, which until January 2018 had only had the provisional designation 15760-1992 QB1. Similar objects found later were often called QB10s or Cubuenos after this object, though the term classical is much more frequently used in the scientific literature. Objects identified as cubuenos include 15760 Albion aka 1992 QB1 and gave rise to term cubueno makemake the largest known cubueno and a dwarf planet 50000 Quaor and 20000 Varuna each considered the largest TNO at the time of discovery 19521 Chaos 58534 Logos 53311 Deucalion 66652 CC, 88611 Teheran Hiawako 33001 1997 CU 29, 55636 2002 TX 300, 55565 2002 AW 197, 55637 2002 UX 25 Haumea was provisionally listed as a Cubueno by the Minor Planet Center in 2006, but turned out to be resonant. Topic orbits, hot and cold populations Most cubuenos are found between the 2-3 orbital resonance with Neptune populated by Platinos and the 1-2 resonance. 50,000 Quaor, for example, has a near-circular orbit close to the ecliptic. Platinos, on the other hand, have more eccentric orbits bringing some of them closer to the Sun than Neptune. The majority of objects, the so-called cold population, have low inclinations Topic distribution The vast majority of KBOs more than two -thirds have inclinations of less than 5 degrees and eccentricities of less than 0.1. Their semi-major axes show a preference for the middle of the main belt. Arguably, smaller objects close to the limiting resonances have been either captured into resonance or have their orbits modified by Neptune. The hot and cold populations are strikingly different, more than 30% of all cubuenos are in low inclination, near circular orbits. The parameters of the Plutonas orbits are more evenly distributed, with a local maximum in moderate eccentricities in 0.15 to 0.2 range and low inclinations 5 to 10 degrees. See also the comparison with scattered disk objects. When the orbital eccentricities of cubuenos and platinos are compared, it can be seen that the cubuenos form a clear belt outside Neptune's orbit, whereas the platinos approach, or even cross Neptune's orbit. When orbital inclinations are compared, hot cubuenos can be easily distinguished by their higher inclinations, as the platinos typically keep orbits below 20 degrees. No clear explanation currently exists for the inclinations of hot cubuenos. Topic cold and hot populations, physical characteristics in addition to the distinct orbital characteristics, the two populations display different physical characteristics. The difference in color between the red cold population and more heterogeneous hot population was observed as early as in 2002. Recent studies, based on a larger data set, indicate the cutoff inclination of 12 degrees instead of 5 degrees between the cold and hot populations and confirm the distinction between the homogeneous red cold population and the bluish hot population. Another difference between the low inclination cold and high inclination hot classical objects is the observed number of binary objects. Binaries are quite common on low inclination orbits and are typically similar brightness systems. Binaries are less common on high inclination orbits and their components typically differ in brightness. This correlation, together with the differences in color, support further the suggestion that the currently observed classical objects belong to at least two different overlapping populations, with different physical properties and orbital history. Topic toward a formal definition There is no official definition of cubueno or classical KBO. However, the terms are normally used to refer to objects free from significant perturbation from Neptune, thereby excluding KBOs in orbital resonance with Neptune resonant trans-Neptunian objects. The Minor Planet Center MPC and the Deep Ecliptic Survey do not list cubuenos classical objects using the same criteria. 
Many TNOs classified as Cubuenos by the MPC are classified as Scatnir possibly scattered by Neptune by the day. Dwarf planet Makemake is such a borderline classical Cubueno – Scatnir object, 1199512002 KX 14 May be an inner Cubueno near the Platinos. Furthermore, there is evidence that the Kuiper belt has an «edge», in that an apparent lack of low-inclination objects beyond 47 to 49 astronomical units was suspected as early as 1998 and shown with more data in 2001. Consequently, the traditional usage of the terms is based on the orbit semi-major axis, and includes objects situated between the 2-3 and 1-2 resonances, that is between 39.4 and 47.8 astronomical units with exclusion of these resonances and the minor ones in between. These definitions lack precision, in particular the boundary between the classical objects and the scattered disk remains blurred. As of 2010, there are 377 objects with perihelion Q, greater than 40 astronomical units and aphelion Q. Topic day classification introduced by the report from the Deep Ecliptic Survey by J. L. Elliott et al. in 2005 uses formal criteria based on the mean orbital parameters. Put informally, the definition includes the objects that have never crossed the orbit of Neptune. According to this definition, an object qualifies as a classical KBO if, it is not resonant its average Tisserand's parameter with respect to Neptune exceeds 3 its average eccentricity is less than 0.2. Topic SSBN 07 Classification An alternative classification, introduced by B. Gladman, B. Marsden and C. Van Leerhoven in 2007, uses a 10 million year orbit integration instead of the Tisserand's parameter. Classical objects are defined as not resonant and not being currently scattered by Neptune. Formally, this definition includes as classical all objects with their current orbits that are non-resonant. See the definition of the method. Have a semi-major axis greater than that of Neptune, 30.1 astronomical units, i.e., excluding centaurs, but less than 2,000 astronomical units to exclude inner Oort cloud objects, are not being scattered by Neptune. Have their eccentricity e 0.240 display style e to exclude detached objects. Unlike other schemes, this definition includes the objects with major semi-axis less than 39.4 astronomical units, 2 to 3 resonance, termed inner classical belt, or more than 48.7, 1 to 2 resonance, termed outer classical belt, and reserves the term main classical belt for the orbits between these two resonances. Topic families The first known collisional family in the classical Kuiper belt, a group of objects thought to be remnants from the breakup of a single body, is the Haumea family. It includes Haumea, its moons, 2002 TX300 and seven smaller bodies. The objects not only follow similar orbits but also share similar physical characteristics. Unlike many other KBO their surface contains large amounts of ice H2O and no or very little tholines. The surface composition is inferred from their neutral as opposed to red color and deep absorption at 1.5 and 2. Mu M in infrared spectrum. Several other collisional families might reside in the classical Kuiper belt, as of 2008. The four brightest objects of the family are situated on the graphs inside the circle representing Haumea. Topic exploration No Kuiper belt object has ever been seen up close. Both Voyager spacecraft have passed through the region before the discovery of the Kuiper belt. The first mission to visit a classical KBO will be New Horizons. After its successful exploration of the Pluto system in 2015, the NASA spacecraft is expected to come within 3,500 kilometers (2,200 miles) of the small KBO 4869582014 MU69 on January 1, 2019. Topic list of objects. Here is a very generic list of classical Kuiper belt objects. As of March 2018, there are about 579 objects with Q greater than 40 o and Q. Topic References. Topic External links. David Jewitt's Kuiper Belt site. The Kuiper Belt Electronic Newsletter. Minor Planet Center list of trans-Neptunian objects. TNO pages at Johnston Archive Plot of the current positions of bodies in the outer solar system